Hi everyone, welcome back to Stitchy B. Thank you very much for all your lovely comments last week and subscribing, I really appreciate it, thank you. Okay, um, this week, as promised, I said I'd talk about the Craftsy class to make uh, an iconic tweed jacket, and that's what I'm wearing today. Um, it's a, a French style jacket made from a tweed fabric, and the course is um, tutored by Lorna Knight, who's a British sewing teacher. I think she has a sewing school in Leek. And um, it's fantastic. So um, with the actual course, you get uh, the Vogue pattern 7975, um, which has a number of different jacket options on there. I chose uh, VB. Um, mine has a three quarter length sleeve. Um, the jacket's quite short. Show you the length. Um, but it, it's just one of those iconic shapes that, that we've all seen. Um, I always wanted one, so uh, and in this case it's definitely much better to sew your own than, than spend a few thousand on, on an original. Um, the time it takes to make a French style jacket is 90 hours apparently um, out there in the designer world. Um, I'm not quite sure if it took me that long, but it, it was probably there or thereabouts. You might think this class is a bit complicated, um, especially if you're a, a beginner, um, but it's not. Uh, the best thing about it is Lorna takes you through every single stage um, from uh, making the toile or muslin, um, which is key to get a good fit, um, matching the pattern, um, and then showing you how to attach the lining and the sleeves. So um, it, it's much easier than reading a paper pattern instruction. So that's one of the benefits really. So you can forget the instructions inside the Vogue pattern because Lorna will take you through um, every stage and you can replay um, each stage as you go if you like. So yeah, here's um, a picture of my twile that I created and um, it was easy to whip up. So obviously you don't have to do this, uh, all the hems and you don't have to attach the lining. It's a basic shape of the jacket to see how it will fit you. So I knew how long it would be. I knew how long the sleeves would be. Um, and it just gives you a good idea as to whether or not the finished one will fit you. And you have to make a little allowance for the fact that you're sewing with a tweed and a lining. So leave a little bit of room but but not much. I missed actually on my twirl that this um, shoulder um, distance was too long on the original packet um, version so I've had to take mine in slightly um, but it allows you to be able to to spot things like that early on. It didn't matter on mine because I managed to do it before I put the sleeve in so it all worked out. Um, because you're sewing with tweed um, you don't need to pre-wash fabric which is always a bonus. Uh, mine's a, a cotton tweed, um, which I bought a long time ago, so I can't point you in the, point you in the direction of it, sadly. Um, if you do spot any, I'd like some more, because I'd like to create a skirt to match, um, but I think it's long gone. Now, inside the lining, I used a satin dupion, which is in a dusky pink, and it really went well th with this pale pink and cream outer fabric. Um, you can see a feature of a French iconic jacket is the chain hem, which I love. It helps helps it hang nicely. Everything's hand stitched on the inside. Yeah, I know, but uh, it's worth it. It's worth it in the end. On the outside of the jacket, um, you have a braid and also underneath that braid is a ribbon. And again, all that's hand stitched. There's an awful lot of hand stitching in there. Um, but it's worth it if you're going to create something really special. So special that I decided to, to pop my little label on in the, in the inside to make it, um, to make it look proper. Um, they're from um, Woven Labels actually, where I get my kids' labels from, so nothing fancy or expensive if you want some yourself. I'll pop the link in the description below. Okay, so yeah, it's a great class, uh, highly recommended. Um, obviously, you get the cost of the pattern um, in with the price of the course. So, And there are lots of deals um, available as well on Craftsy. If you wait a while, they tend to email you some discounts, which is always handy if you, you're waiting for a specific class. Uh, but give it a go. Let me know how you get on. Okay, so last week, you might remember, I started to sew the Colette Sorbetto pattern, which is their brand new release of their free Sorbetto. Um, and here it is. 
<laughs> okay, I know I'm a geek. <laughs> so the Sorbetto, it's a free pattern um, downloaded from their website. Um, it's designed as a, an introduction to uh, different techniques. Um, probably a beginner pattern really. I think it depends on what kind of fabric you choose, whether or not it's easy um, or not. So this is um, a fine crepe um, or a, a Georgette and it, it's not the easiest uh, fabric to make in anything really. Um, so it's a little bit fiddly when finishing the neckline. So this is bias binding, um, which you have to make your own unless you've, you've got some that matches. I, I like to match it, so make some out of the fabric itself. Um, and it's off, it is a bit fiddly to match up. Um, with the armhole and the hem, I just turned over a, a tiny hem, which I find easier to do. Um, I didn't want any more bulk on the arm by adding more bias binding, so I just finished it that way. Um, the pleat in the middle is a great detail, and it's literally created by just pinching the fabric and, and sewing a line from top to bottom, and then you kind of squash out the fold and so round at the top so it's it's a good technique actually I can see me using that in a few patterns just to add a bit of interest so yeah nothing too uh, difficult um, it, it's got a couple of bust darts so that's another great um, confidence builder for technique if you're new to sewing and um, one thing I spotted it didn't look like the hem was stepped when I cut out the pattern but of course once you then insert the bust dart, the front rises slightly, so that's where the step appears. So otherwise it will look the same when you cut it out. So yeah, great pattern, have a go, let me know if you do. So next week I'm going to go back to a more simple pattern um, after this 90 hour one, and I'm going to review the Susie blouse from Sew Over It. Um, I've made a couple of these and it's just my favorite kind of top to wear. Uh, so I'll show you the versions I've made then. Okay, thank you very much for watching and if you want to subscribe, that'd be great. Take care, see you next week. Bye.